it's totally unexplainable that, that you know everyone keeps telling me I'm the Olympic champion but it's not going to sink in for such a long time I it's been my dream since as long as I can remember every night going to bed I do um, I slide down the track and practice and go through it and, and visualize my dream but I wouldn't visualize winning I'd visualize the process so coming through the finish line after the fourth run and seeing that number one it was just oh my gosh absolutely no pressure when I compete I don't feel the pressure there's so many things that I've got to focus on whether it's the sled uh, my equipment you know I've got to make sure I'm wearing all the right things make sure I've got my race bib on and my helmet and everything so um, there's just no time for pressure I have such high expectations of myself as an athlete as well no one else could put expectation um, on me that's that's greater than my own I wish I knew what made me so fast down the track but I think it's a combination of so many things I'm a very determined athlete, we do lots of track walks, so we, we um, go walk into the ice and have a look and understand all of the corners and how to steer the skeleton sled, so um, I had loads of track notes and I, I was continuously improving every run along the way, through even through the race, so just never giving up. I've got no idea what we said to each other, but to see their tears um, in the eyes and, and the pride that they had just, you know, reminded me of how important it was to, to not only me, but to, to my family, to my friends, my best friends who are here as well. And it's been such a lot of hard work over the past five years, especially in Skeleton. And since, you know, since I was a kid, I was an athlete. You know, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to the Olympics and win a, <laughs> win a gold medal. <laughs>